Good day friends, it is me, AHL Mod Tech, and today I'm here with a wicked cool vertical keychain tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we're gonna make this vertical keychain using a couple of separate tools. The first thing I want you to do is find Canva. I chose sign in with Google and then I'm gonna choose create and I wanna create a logo. These are only 500 pixels by 500 pixels, which makes sense for a Tinkercad project. Over here on the text, we want to add a text box. Type in whatever you want. I keep using the word awesome just because I think it's fun. I do want all capitals though, because that'll make the project a little more epic. Now, if we squeeze this from side to side, bingo, you have got your vertical text. I'm gonna click somewhere else and bring this up closer to the top. And let's change the size. You can just hit the plus sign. And then also make sure you find a awesome font. So when you go through the list, there are so many to pick from. One cool thing to note is you can search. You can also pick different types, like you just want handwriting ones. When you click on them, they change pretty quickly. Now for the project I'm talking about here, we want something a little bit larger. So I'm gonna still go through and see if I can find one I like. That's pretty fancy. I think I'm actually gonna go with that one and I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. And then notice the gap you get to choose how much gap you want by changing the line spacing. So I want those closer together. I think I'm gonna say this much gap is perfect for the project. Now when I change the font size, they grow and still fit. And notice you can also get them so they're centered better and you'll find the spot where they are too small and they come together. When you've got it like this, we need to create an SVG. We could export from here as a PNG, but I love to just do a screenshot. I've got mine hooked up to a key so I can do control all of this. And then in here, my shortcut is control S again, and it is saved and ready to use. Once you've got that saved, we need to visit picksvg.com. We simply upload that file. Mine was in my downloads. You can see I've been playing with several of them. When it comes in, there will be one with the great edge that you can look at. Uh, sometimes it's nice to go down and check out the internal ones. But when you find one that fits what you want, which this has all the edges I need, you simply hit download SVG. I'm gonna let it have that funky name because I know what I'm doing here and I doubt I ever reuse that. Friends, now we zip back to Tinkercad, click import, choose our file. Grab that fun chunk of text, make sure you switch to artboard, and then I always keep my keychains 70 millimeters long or seven centimeters and hit import. And after a moment, here is our project. I'm gonna move that to the side and I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna show you that we can use this again and again. Shift nudge makes that move go faster. I'm gonna pick a color that I appreciate more. Get one of my Lions or Michigan Blues. Friends, this is where the fun part happens. If we click over here and switch to outer line, it gets this funky keychain design. Instead of line width five, try line width two, and then also bump the quality all the way up so you've got a nice shape. At this point, we can click on that and do control D. We can make the second one inside line. I'm gonna give it a different color so you can see it better. Let's go out here in the yellows and boom, you can see how this is turning into a wicked cool keychain. So there's my height of two. If I had a two color printer, I could have that poking out so it would look really cool. We could also have it like it was cut in by simply taking this and instead of making it three, making it 1.5, bam, instant awesome keychain. If you're curious about where the inside of this went, watch if I change this to one for that inner line, then the line widths thin enough, it shows up. Also, we could have just stayed for that piece with the default because then it brings in the one that we had right over here. Check out this fun combination. You can see here, I've got the first one where it used size two. I made a second one, same choice but I did 0.75, bingo, that turns out pretty darn sweet. And of course, we've got the word awesome in the middle. If you wanted this to be a little more sturdy, once you're done, just stretch it wider. Let's quickly add a keychain top to this. My favorite way is to simply bring out the tube. I know I want the thickness to be two, so I'm just gonna press enter on that. I do want the sides to be a lot better. 
And then I want this to be a diameter of 7, so a radius of 3.5. And then I want the wall thickness to be 2 and press enter. Of course, simply drag it where you want it or use the arrow keys. I chose a line width of 2, so that works the way I'd expect. And then you can simply grab them and do Control G to group them. Almost instant, awesome vertical text keychain. When you're done, if you want to 3D print it, don't forget you simply hit export as an STL. I'm going to put the word awesome in front of it real quick so I know which one it was. And hit save. I do also want to remind your friends if you make something awesome like this, you can share it with the world super quick. The first thing I always do is set my background color to something cool. I'm going to go with a light blue today. And then also I shut off the grid, close the settings. That makes it a lot cooler for doing screenshots. Finally, return to the Tinkercad dashboard. Your project instantly is saved to the cloud, so you can always go back to it. But even better, you can click on Properties. Of course, give it a name. Mine has a description saying the tutorial's coming soon. And other ways you can reach me, add some tags. Friends, if you make something you want me to see, if you ever type HLMT23, and press enter. I search that tag almost every day and of course I'll give you a reaction. Finally click and make it public and I always choose attribution no derivatives because I want users to come up here follow that tutorial and gain some epic skills. Lastly save changes. Of course friends I hope you had a ton of fun and I'm looking forward to seeing all the cool keychains you create with these newfound skills. Friends I want to take a moment to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing categories for you to check out. Day one favorites, some useful starters, and then finally the Tinkercad essentials. Finally friends, down on the right there is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to mention the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 700 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.